Good morning, good day, good evening, good night, wherever you may be out there, guys. This is Tarkon, back with another video. Uh, and I have a comment here from Bree that was recently left on an older video of mine where I talk about some things that was a success story and I was discussing um, going general, right? And I think I have another video out there somewhere, going vet general versus going being specific. Um, and so um, Bree was leaving a comment on that. I'm not going to read the whole comment, uh, but just the, the sort of pertinent parts for this video, because she asked some interesting questions here that I think uh, are important to address, okay? So first of all, she said, um, since I am pretty calm, yet I still am not sure of what I want, so not really wanting to get my ex back, not sure if I want to be in a relationship with anyone just yet, or wanting to get a new job, etc. Going general is a wonderful piece of advice for my situation. So, you know, what? just briefly to recap, going general versus going specific. The idea is, you know, the general uh, uh, advice there is that when you're feeling you want something so badly and something very specific so badly, let's say it is a specific person, right? As is the case for most of you coming to this channel. Um, when you're, when you're getting so specific from a place of being very desperate and doubtful and fearful about the situation and impatient about the situation, um, the advice there is to, is to pull back from the specificity so much. Okay. In other words, I'm doing my visualizations. I'm imagining our wonderful future, but I'm feeling really anxious about it. I'm doing it to kind of, you know, calm myself down or, or chase away the anxiousness or try to make something happen very desperately. So I feel I must do all these techniques and these affirmations to kind of, you know, make it, make it come quicker, speed the process along instead of hanging back and letting the process unfold itself because I've become clear about what I want. So there's not much more for me to do, right? So then going general in that mindset, when you're in that frame of mind of being sort of fearful and anxious, going general is the best way to, way to go. So in other words, you don't want to be like, uh, you know, affirming, uh, she loves me, she loves me, she's in love with me, we're getting married, uh, but you're not really believing it, you're not really feeling it, okay? So pull back a little bit and just say, hey, listen, I'm okay, everything's all right, I'm a powerful creator, um, you know, all is well in my world right now. So that's more going general, okay? So in other words, when you're feeling good though, when you're, when you've calmed yourself down and you feel more relaxed, more centered about the situation, that's when you kind of get more specific. And of course, as I always stress, getting more specific, um, is important, right? Like knowing what you want is important to get what you want. Now you have a general idea of what you want. Most of you, you want the, you know, the car, the X back, the, uh, the good health, the job, uh, the relationship, but then getting specific about that um, has to do more with looking at the details of it, or rather looking at what it is you really want, okay? What it, what is behind all of these things that we want and all of these conditions that we want? And usually what's behind that, guys, and I stress this a lot in my videos, and I certainly stress this a lot with my coaching clients. For those of you who've gotten coaching with me, you know this. Um, you know, I try to drive this point home a lot because it's very important to understand what you're after is a state of mind and a state of being. What you're after is a feeling state, okay? And you've, you're translating that desire for that feeling state into to this condition, this person, this thing, this money, this job, because you think that those things are going to bring you that feeling state. And they very well might. But of course, with manifesting and with law of attraction, the idea is to identify the feeling state that you're after and then go for the... Uh, Go for that state before the condition, the external condition uh, uh, exists in your physical reality because that will come about as a result of you practicing that state of being already right now, even before the condition exists around you, okay? That's what law of attraction is about. That's what manifesting is all about, guys, all right? So basically... Um, you always know what you want. There's always something that you want. And usually what it is is some kind of an improved condition. And usually that's tied to an improved way of feeling, okay? So um, it's impossible to not want something, all right? Now, just because you don't know what you want doesn't mean, or you feel you don't know what you want specifically, doesn't mean that, you, that there's nothing that you want, okay? Because in the end, Brie and everybody out there, like I said, what it comes down to is a feeling state. So for you, Brie, uh, and I'll continue real quick because she, she asked the question, obviously. So I do have a question in your perspective. What do you think about not knowing what you want? Because it's easy to feel confused and overwhelmed. And I don't want to tap into negativity because of that. 
Some LOA coaches on YouTube mention about asking the universe for a sign. Yes, you can ask the universe for a sign. You're asking your inner being for a sign. Your inner being already knows what it is you want, but it reads your energy. So this idea of, of, of knowing what I want or pointing to a specific thing, there's nothing wrong with that, but it's a very action-oriented thing. So if you're coming from a place where you're saying, well, I don't have anything specific in mind, that I can point to that I want in my physical reality, let's say a pile of money or a new relationship or a new job. Um, so I don't know, I feel like I should want something. If, you, if, you're, if you're sort of feeling overwhelmed by the need uh, to pinpoint something that you want and you're just not coming up with any answers, then you're pushing a little too hard. You're, you're, this is the action-oriented part of ourselves that says, we, well, I must find something I want, okay? So it's a perfectly all right not to be able to pinpoint exactly what you want. And the idea, though, of you know even asking the universe, what you're really doing is you're opening yourself up to the answer because the answer is there, and the improved condition already exists out there in that infinite field of possibilities, right? Abraham Hicks called this the, your vortex, right? It's already in there. So, you know, we formulate... Uh, 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 better conditions, and we formulate desires and improved conditions for ourselves simply by living our lives, by collecting our experiences, and even going through that contrast, even going through those challenges, um, automatically create the improved condition, right? I have X happening to me, I don't like X, so what do I want instead? Well, it would be nice to have Y or Z, because that seems like the opposite condition of this current condition. But really what it comes down to, guys, is I don't like feeling the way I'm, I'm feeling right now, okay? And, and, and I'd like to feel this way, all right? So if it's a, a matter of, hey, I'd like to feel calm. I mean, you, you Brie, in your, in your comment even stated, you said, hey, I'm sort of, you know, I'm kind of neutral and calm lately. And maybe that's precisely what it, what you wanted, okay? So maybe you've, you've plugged into that, but then there's that part of you, of your mind, your action-oriented mind that says, no, but you must, you must make an order, order something, okay? And you're kind of like, well, look, I'm just window shopping. And it's perfectly all right to be window shopping, all right? Maybe if I find something, then I'll pick that thing. I'll go, that would be nice, uh, which is ironically exactly the attitude that makes manifesting so much easier and so much more smooth and so much more efficient, okay? Um, this is even when you have something specific in mind, this is kind of the general attitude you want to be sort of, you want to be on, in tune with, okay? I want this. I want that. Nothing wrong with that. You got, But you got to get yourself out of the feeling of needing it. I'm not going to be calm unless I have it. I'm not going to be uh, confident unless I have it. I'm not going to be happy unless I have it. I'm not going to have fun unless I have that thing. Only when I have that thing can I be calm, confident, happy, and fun and enjoy my life. You know, and it's bullshit, right? It's a thing that we've been told our whole lives, all right? Look at our society. I mean, this has been drilled into our heads since we've been in the cradle. You must do something. You must want something. You must go for something. You must push, push, push. Uh, you're never happy where you are. You must always get the next thing. You must always get the next thing. You must always get the next thing. Our whole shopping culture, right? Our whole economy is based on this idea. Get the new, new car. Get the new product that makes your skin better. Get the thing that does this, okay? And, and it's all banking on the idea that we're just unhappy with where we are and that we're always trying to be somewhere else. Okay, so the thing now with with manifesting and with this whole spiel that we've been talking about on this channel that these other coaches talk about and all these books and videos talk about is to go, hey, I'm after a feeling state. I'm after a certain state of being. Okay, and I think that that car is going to get me there. I think that that pile of money is going to get me there. I think that this condition is going to get me there. This relationship will get me there. And so often we get those things because we approach it all ass backwards like that. We get those things and we're still not happy. We still feel somehow incomplete. We still feel somehow there's something missing because we've ignored the fact or we've bypassed the idea of the fact that what we're really after is a state of being. We can choose to live in that state of being now. And what happens, and this is what Law of Attraction is all about, what happens is that all the things that feel the same way then come into your life, including the relationship, including the money, including the better health condition, including the nice car, including the nice house, including that awesome vacation, okay? Whatever it is, the better job, all right? The quiet neighbors, the, the, the better neighborhood, the whatever the condition is, okay? Those conditions will come about as a result because they are a match to your feeling state. 
So, you know, we come in with this idea of like, well, I, if I have that thing, then I can achieve the feeling state. You can achieve the feeling state now. And that's the whole trick. And when you understand that and when you grasp that, you've got half the battle won. It's done. It's over. Okay. And you practice that feeling state as much as possible and for as long as possible. All right. And then watch how all the things that match that, that are a vibrational, energetic focus match to that thing will just pour into your life. Yeah, including the thing that you specifically identified you wanted. So if you don't know what you want, though, and if, you know, to get back to your question here, um, you know, it's perfectly all right. In fact, you're kind of in a good position right now because you've identified already. You kind of said it in your in your comment earlier. You said, hey, I'm feeling calm lately. I'm feeling really neutral lately. So you're being playful out there. You're window shopping. You're experimenting. You're looking around and you don't even need to know the answer to that question right now. And you don't need to ask the universe. You can ask the universe and you can get answers back if you just get quiet in yourself. But the idea, of course, is why that's making you even more nervous and confused and overwhelmed is because you feel the need to identify something specific. And again, that comes back to the idea of, well, I must want something or somehow it's too easy or somehow it seems like something's wrong with me. All these people want something. I should want something too. Let's identify something to want so that I can move there and then I can be happy. Shouldn't I wa be wanting something? You know, and if you're, if you're kind of like, hey, I'm feeling neutral and calm. This is weird. This doesn't seem right because it's unusual. It is unusual because we haven't been taught to just exist that way right? We're supposed to always be human doings instead of human beings. So learn to be a human being. Don't be a human doing so much, okay? Just be. And and as as you just be, as you're just quiet, and as you just kind of sink into that that feeling and let yourself go in that feeling of being neutral and calm, answers will come to you, all right? But they'll come to you when you're not pushing for them so much, when you're not wanting them so much when you're not needing them so much, it's perfectly all right to just cruise along and go, you know what? I'm just going to let this thing unfold for me. I know there are things I want. I don't know how to, how to identify them yet, but I will. All I got to do is just stay in this state. This is nice. I feel calm. I feel neutral. I'm window shopping through life. I'm looking at this. I'm trying that out. Okay. Maybe not that. Maybe this. Oh, maybe not that either. Oh, that thing's nice. I'll go for more of that. How's that making me feel? And you see, so naturally as you go through your life, as you expect, as you collect experiences, <clears throat> your expansion unfolds naturally by default on its own. There's really not much more we, we need to do than that. And I know this is so often such a difficult pill for people to swallow because of this culture that we've been raised in, that we should always want, always push, always climb that ladder, always go for something bitter, bigger and better. And it's not completely wrong because, yes, we live in an expanding universe. And as a part of that universe, we are expanding beings. So we're always reaching for expansion, growth, evolution, knowledge, right? Um but that can come about naturally. You don't really need to push for that. That's already happening anyway. And then one day as you collect a bunch of experiences and you kind of just bounce through life and go, hey, I've tried this, I've tried that, I've tried the other thing. Then suddenly you'll identify something and go, you know what, that, that's the thing. Oh, that's, I like that. That's delicious. That feels really nice. That's really cool. I want more of that. I'm going to go over there now. Now I'm going to put my focus into that area and I'm going to have that specific thing come into my life because that's pretty cool, right? So go ahead and just go window shopping for a while. Don't push so hard and to, don't try so hard to identify something, okay? But once you do identify something, that's when you get a little bit more specific, but only when you don't need that thing so much, only when you're not feeling so frustrated and trying to push for it so much and trying to always be over there as opposed to, as opposed to over here where you already are, okay? Because the trick with this, guys, and I can't stress this enough, is to be happy with where you are now, is to learn to do that. And that I know so many of you are afraid that that will mean that you won't get what you want because the universe will go, oh, you're happy, so we don't need to give you anything else. But nothing could be further from the truth, okay? That is so utterly wrong, I can't even stress enough how wrong that is, all right? Because exactly the opposite will happen. Oh, they're happy, they're content, which means they're focused in a way and into a, into a feeling and an energy of things being good. They're, they're solution-oriented and not problem-oriented. Look at how they're feeling calm and cool and, and loved and wanted and appreciated and excited about life and passionate about things. And now we're going to give them more of those things. The universe has to yield more of that to you, more conditions and situations that feel that way to you, you see. So deciding how you want to feel is the number one clue 
that'll lead you down the road to what conditions you want in your life, all right? What more specific things you want in your life. So just for a while, meditate on that. How do I want to feel? I feel great being calm and cool and collected. And notice how your physical reality then bounces those things back to you. Other conditions that are that bring you more of being neutral, being calm, being cool, being playful, being frisky, being excited, being curious, okay? Because that's what it's all about, guys. That's what we come here for, all right? So don't push so much for the answers. Let the answers find you. Let them come to you, all right? And they will. So thank you guys. I hope that's been helpful to you, Bree, and to everybody else watching. If it has, and if you like this video, and if you like the cut of my jib, please hit like, please subscribe, please leave a comment, please share this video and other videos on my channel. Um, if you want some coaching with me, the information is down below in the description box. There's also a link to leave me a tip if you want to leave me a tip. Um, there's also a link to the Facebook group, so go ahead and join that. Some cool people over there. Okay, guys? So thanks for watching. I'm Tarkon. Until next time, happy manifesting, and bye-bye. <laughs>